Hello, I'm Retro Ed. Uh, welcome to the channel dedicated to old school video games and toys. And before I get into the video, I want to do a massive shout out and thank you to everyone that watched the last couple of videos I've done, the first two videos that I've that I've ever done. Um, you know, liked them, commented, uh, even a few subscriptions off the back of it. So yeah, I feel quite humbled and massively massively touched by the the gaming love. Um, so yeah, thank you. Uh, I think it's given me even more you know admiration and respect to. Uh, to some of those, you know, people that are quite embedded YouTubers that are just absolute bloody naturals at this stuff. Um, yeah, truly, truly amazing. Um, for this video, uh, I'm just going to go through a recent pickup or more of a delivery that I've I've had. Um, it was from one of my um, favourite online um, shops, which is Every Bit um, Gaming. Um, I'll leave the website details below in the description, but they're just, you know, in a nutshell, they're they're just utterly awesome, you know, really good items, um, great range, you know, all things retro. Um, you get things from overseas, so they get some, you know, some some good Japanese games and other things um, flowing through. You know, decent quality, everything's tested. Uh, I bought a console from them in the past, and in fact, before I made the purchase, I had a personalized video sent out just for me with kind of walk me around the the console the accessories all the bits um you know going through the good bits any kind of blemishes it was just you know absolutely incredible so the service is you know second to second to none um i'm genuinely not being sponsored to say any of this i'm saying it because i just bloody love them and they're you know just an awesome uh, it's an awesome place to to shop so yeah go and go and check them out um and they've been so nice in fact if you watch to the end of this video um there's a discount code um, at the end and if you put that discount code in on their shop um, you'll have to get a, get a discount on on their wares so please check it out check them out and uh, yeah shop away um, back to the games and we'll go through them in a, in a second but um, they're across a few Nintendo platforms and I think all of them apart from perhaps the last one um, I haven't played before um, so it be, could be quite quite interesting um, I should, should have laid out a warning perhaps in the previous videos around good old fromage fray and, and cheesiness but as well as loving you know real popular probably mainstream games I do like kind of quirky cheesy titles as well and um, particularly they're cheap and you can't you can't go wrong um, and there may be um, some of those within what we're about to, um, to to take a look at right I think that's enough retro rambling let's have a look at the games Right then, I'm going to do these in order of level of cheesiness. Um, so Pongi Gorgonzola's up front, and then we'll move on to the uh, the more mature cheeses. Um, so first up, we've got a GBA title, uh, Power Rangers Dino Thunder from 2004. Um, I'll confess at this point, I've never ever watched Power Rangers in my life. I think from looking at some of the, uh, the little clips and things, they fight in quarries and building sites, but that is the extent of my my knowledge um for this one i'll be honest it was the reviews that drew me in and i've jotted down a few here um but there are such as first one dino thunder is a budget title nice second one um, expectations for this title was so low as to be subterranean i thought it was a little bit comical um the next one's a bit gloomier but sadly dino thunder fails on all levels um, and then the final one it's frustrating and repetitive to the extreme. You owe the fruit of your loins something a little bit better. Very nice. So all of those things combined really made me want to get this game even more. Um, so I'll check it out and I'll let you know if those cheese levels are deserving. Um, next up, we've got Spider-Man 2, I think also from 2004. Um, reviews for this one were a tad more on the polar side so um, again I jotted down some some further further scribbles so it was a fairly glass half full Jared P on Metacritic said uh, like all Spider-Man games it's awesome in all the ways it's pretty glowing uh, but then on the other end of the scale you've got uh, entertainment ranked have to be a bit careful how I say that um, and to quote them they said it felt like I was stuck in limbo and this game was my internal hell um, so yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. The graphics look pretty good. Um, lots of badass bosses, such as you know Doctor Octopus, and after all, it's you know it's bloody Spider-Man. What? Can, how can I go wrong? 
Um, so that's two of the lot. The next one is Mr. Driller, Drill Spirits. Um, again, complete coincidence, but another 2004 um, title. I've never played this or any of the five preceding Mr. Drillers in the series or the handful of Driller games that came out after. However, um, I do like Namco. I love puzzle games. Um, it looks pretty cool. How I don't know if you can see that. How the game flows through the US, the DS's dual screens. Um, so yeah, it's going to be going towards the top of the the gaming pile. Uh, next one up, also um, a puzzle game, and I'm sure I've played a few of these um, on my phone before. There's like a gazillion different versions, um, and I think something like a, is it a puzzle tastic half billion downloads of all these games, which is just crazy. Um, so this one's a bit like the others. You know, you have to um, make up lines of jewels. I think the the twist in the twist, excuse the pun, um, is that you rotate the jewels um, as opposed to swapping them over. Um, and yeah, little little booklet in that. So it's all in all in good nick. Um, so I put that to one side. I'm not even going to attempt to try and put that one away. Um, and the next one. We've got to make a little bit of space. This is quite an, yeah, an interesting one. So this is for the Wii. Um, another code R, A Journey Into Lost Memories. And apparently it's a sequel to um, another another code game, um, which was on the DS. Um, for whatever reason, this one was only um, European and Japanese release, so not in the, not in the US. Um, from what I understand, it's a bit of a mystery-solving um, game. You play a character called, is it Ashley? Um, who meets up with her estranged father. Um, clues start appearing um, left, right and centre um, around her mother's death, which is all a bit all a bit entertaining. Um, so yeah, a bit different from most other games, so I thought I'd give it a, give it a shot. Um, and the thing which I loved the most uh, was Nintendo's advice on the back of the case, which his basic reading ability is needed to fully enjoy this game. So, you know, what the frig, that is just... Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, look forward to that. Um, and then, yeah, final game. Um, and the final game is Felix the Cat um, for the original Game Boy, uh, 1993. Jeez, this is this one's shot up a fair bit in value over the last um, few years. I think people are fairly. I'm getting some okay focus on that. People have fairly mixed opinions of it, but I. I pretty much like it. It's, the graphics are good, and particularly for the Game Boy, it's a nice, it's a platformer. It's on the easy side, which probably makes me like it even more. Um, and you can crunch through it remarkably uh, or fairly quickly, um, which is oddly therapeutic. You know, very therapeutic. Um, plots, yeah, pretty generic, non-existent. Girlfriend gets kidnapped. Um, crazy Felix Cat has to go after and and, and get her back. Um, so yeah, that's the games. Right, that's it for the pickups. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you played any of these games, or have got any views on them, you know, good, bad, indifferent, um, please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear your uh, your thoughts on them. Uh, again, a huge thank you to the amazing people at Every Bit Gaming um, for sending me these these games and loads of other ones in the past and loads of others I'm sure in the um, in the future. So have a look at their um, their website. Show it a bit of love. Um, even use that discount code um, as well and pick yourself up a, a real real bargain um, so go and have a look so yeah I'm going to end the video now um, thank you very much for watching um, please like comment and subscribe and I hope to see you next time thank you